what is going on, people. I am here for day number 30 of the 31 Days Half October series, which I'm doing on this channel. That's right, two more days left. Uh, pretty much, if you haven't seen the ones beforehand, this is where I do 31 horror mo movie reviews or something horror-related for 31 days. For every day of October, you will get something horror-related. Most of it's, uh, you know, reviews or unboxings of horror movies or whatever, but 31 days straight, you'll get something horror-related. I'm not the only one doing it. I'm just calling it a little bit something different. There's people doing uh, 31 days of Halloween, 31 days of horror. Uh, whatever people are calling it, it's almost the exact, you know, same thing. Just call it a little bit different. I do it, uh, I call it different, and I do it a little bit different. Uh, I call it the 31 days, half October. I try to do independent movies, and I try to do them in alphabetic, a alphabetical order. Towards the end, it gets a little bit tough, so then I kind of just pick and choose from there. But anyway, you know, like I said, there's a whole bunch of people doing some kind of 31 days. So if you've seen the movie I review or you don't care about the movie I review, check out everybody else who's doing it. Uh, Jonathan Moody's doing independent movies. Uh, 13th Wolfman, Moods, there's a whole bunch of people, Brian Gatto, there's a whole bunch of people doing this. Like I said, I'll have everyone's link in the description, so check out everybody else's page. Uh, before I get into the review for today, uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button so, you know, with the algorithm, you know, works better. And of course, hit that bell button. Uh, right after this month, I'm going to take a little bit of time off, I don't know, unless I get movies in the mail or something like that. Um, I'll be taking a few days off at least because this month is long. So hit that bell button so you know when I do upload uh, more stuff. Uh, today, uh, yesterday was Z. Today I was thinking about doing numbers or whatever. But I got this in the mail. I've been waiting for this uh, to come out, should I say, for a while. Uh, I found out that Tuesday was the actual release date uh, and then got it in the mail today. I wanted it so bad or wanted to watch it so bad because it is, um, you know, something to do with one of my favorite movies of all time. So, uh, you know, I rented it on VOD and then I went and I bought the movie and it came in today. Uh, it's not really, well, it's a documentary, should I say, and it's about one of my favorite movies of all time and it's called Wolfman's Got Nards. This was put out by Gravitas Ventures. Um... Uh, it is, like I said, a documentary. It's directed by Andre uh, Gower, who is actually in uh, the Monster Squad. Is Sean? Uh, it's also it's written to, uh, by Andre as well, uh, and it's also written by Henry Darrow McComas. Hopefully, I said that right. It's uh, you know it got a whole bunch of people in it. Heather Langenkamp. Um, who else is in this? Uh, Seth Green, uh, Fred Decker, the guy who actually directed uh, the uh, the uh, Monster Squad, uh, Shane Black, uh, Adam Green, Joe Lynch, whole bunch of people. Pretty much among it, you guys have your actors and directors and producers, and then you have uh, your fans. Pretty much, it's a documentary towards the love of the movie. Uh, for, you know, the longest time, you know, it was supposed to be a flop, didn't really make what it was supposed to make in the theaters. So, you know, the director kind of thought, you know, I, I guess it isn't for me kind of deal. I don't know what was going through his head. Um, but it was one of those things where it flopped, didn't do well. Uh, but then it caught its, you know, wind back, I guess you want to call it, uh, or, I think it always had it, me being a fan of it from the first time I saw it. I enjoyed it, you know, from the beginning. But it really caught its wind, uh, they, they said, around you know, 30 years later in 2006 uh, is when it really started, you know, picking up and and getting, you know, fan recognition. And uh, they were going to different places to, you know, view the movie and all that stuff. And they would have uh, big lines and just, you know, people telling them how much the movie meant to them. And, you know, a lot of the people that they interviewed, you know, had something, you know, along the lines of uh, either inspiring them to uh, do something or if they did already were making movies or had ideas they would throw it in uh, like one of the f things was um, 
I've never seen an episode, but the one guy, the I guess the writer or director of the Goldbergs used nards all the time. So it's like, oh, my nards, or kick him in the nards, or anything like that. Um, but it, it's one of those things where, I guess, unless, you know, a movie's making millions and millions and millions of dollars or something like that in the box office, it's considered a, you know, flop. And then people were saying, and this one, is it considered a cult movie? Is it one of those things? To tell you the truth, I guess it depends on what you would consider it, like what your definition of a cult classic is kind of deal. Me, myself, when I think of it, is one of those things where, again, it didn't make a lot of money in the um, in the theaters, but it's one of those movies that are timeless, that'll, you know, live on forever. Every Everyone's going to remember, especially the people who love the movie, who, you know, I think will continue to, um, you know, show the movie, especially to, you know, the younger fans they were saying. They have fans from, you know, raging from, you know, 50 plus to, you know, 10 years old because it's one of those movies that is, you, you're you able to watch it at any age range and find something different and find something you actually like from it. Um, for those of you who haven't seen Monster Squad, I say go ahead and do it because to tell you the truth, the more I watch it, the, the more I realize that, you know, it really does, besides some, you know, you know, outdated cars or movies or phrases or whatever, it still kind of holds up. There's a lot of movies nowadays that you're like, eh, you know, I liked it 20 years ago, but the more I watch it now, eh. But this one, the, the idea and the stuff behind it isn't driven by the time. So it's one of those movies that I think could be one that you could show your kids and your kids will show you their kids and stuff like that it'll be a generational movie another one that i you know uh think of it as is the uh, princess bride another one that really didn't make a lot of money but i think uh caught its wind when more people started watching it because we had andre gower on the dorkening or the wicked horror show should i say and he was saying one of the things that might have you know made it a little bit more made it a tougher time to see it is putting like PG-13 on it when, especially at that point in time, movies that were PG were swearing and stuff like that. So I think that might have had something to do with it. Even in this, like they were showing it in London, I believe, and London's rating system is so, you know, off uh, that a 14-year-old girl, I think she was a teenage girl, couldn't go see the movie. So it was actually pretty cool how uh, they found her and they brought her to the QA and stuff like that. So... Just this this documentary just brings back so many memories and, you know, some of the stuff behind the scenes. And there's a cool little tribute to the uh, kid that plays uh, Horace in the movie. Um, so it's just one of those documentaries. Of course, I think I liked it that much more because I loved uh, Monster Squad. But it's one of those documentaries that brings back the heart of it and, you know, makes you want to sit down and watch it. So, uh, like I said, it came out this Tuesday. If you're a physical media collector, you got it right here. Gravitas Ventures. I'll leave the link for uh, where you can purchase it on uh, in the description. Uh, also, I'll leave the trailer for the documentary. So, you know, in case you wanted to just... I mean, if you enjoyed Monster Squad, I don't know why you wouldn't want to check it out anyway. But I'll leave the trailer for that. Like I said in the description, I'll leave all the other people who are doing 31 Days. Uh, in case you might not want to see this, or you've seen it already, or all 29 other days that I've done you don't care about you could check out everybody else is doing it and have movies to watch for the next year until next Halloween so just check out everybody that's doing some kind of 31 days for the people I missed just check out put in 31 days of Halloween 31 days of horror I don't know just look up 31 days and I'm sure you'll find something to do with horror movies so definitely go ahead check out Wolfman's Got Nards uh, put it out this Tuesday or put out this Tuesday uh, in the description I'll also leave all my other social media uh, whether it be uh, Facebook fan page I got a Twitter I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me I got a uh, part of the dorkening every Tuesday night uh, we have people on talking film indie film documentaries like I said uh, anything horror related we try to help you know indie people out um, by not that our podcast is huge, but, uh, you know, getting ears on or eyes on because we do do it live on movies people might not have heard of or, you know, um, the the fact that 
a lot of indie films don't get the publicity that some do. We try to be the publicity. So anyway, like I said, check out Wolfman's Got Nards. Check out everybody else who's doing some kind of 31 days. Check out all my other 31 days or 29 days, should I say. And of course, check out uh, my all the other videos on my channel. I have the um, my entire horror movie collection, horror Blu-ray collection, should I say, uh, up here. So you can check that out. And uh, yeah, one more day. I think tomorrow I might go live at some point in time uh, to, you know, end the cap the, uh, the month off. Um, but yeah, I guess until tomorrow, you know, this month's been fun. And uh, I guess until tomorrow, I'll shut up now. I'll see you guys.